sharp minor so that first position of the pentatonic scale and we're bending up on the G string full fret a whole note so and then after the initial bend we're coming back down to the fourth and pulling off to the second fret of the G string and then doing a quick bend up on the fourth and then choking it out so and then we move up to the second position of the F sharp minor pentatonic scale and we're on the top E on the seventh fret so we bend up so after that initial bend up we pull off to the fifth fret so bend up pull it down and then pull off to the fifth so a seven to five and then bend up again and choke it on the seventh and then you play five seven on the B so top E five seven on the B and then pull off seven to five on the top E then two on the B string seventh fret Pull off seven to five on the B string. And then you do a really cool little run now, so on the G string, really quickly from the six to the four to the second of the G string. So slide from six to the fourth fret on the G string with your ring finger. And then play that second fret. So you've got to really dig into it. And then after that, we do a cool little bend. So we bend up on the full fret again on the G string. And we choke it out a little bit with our palm of the right hand. So. And then I like to play that top E note with my middle finger of my right hand. So pick it on the G string with your plectrum. And then if you want with your fingers, just pluck it. So it's bending up on the full fret G string. And then a small half note bend up. So pick it to bend it up and then pick it on the full fret as well when you come down. And then second fret of the G string. And then back to that root note on the F sharp on the D string. So we'll do it again. So we go up to the ninth fret and do an F sharp minor nine. And then we play an A nine. And then a D major seven on the twelfth fret. 
and then a G9 on the 10th fret. So there. And then back to that F sharp minor 7. And then take off your middle and ring finger and just play the bar. And then come down to the 5th fret and play the D string and the B string 5th fret. So for the verses, Hugh McCracken's playing some beautiful little compy lead parts. And um, the chords are quite simple, it's just over D, F sharp over D, G, A. But the stuff that he's playing is really, really cool, it's groovy. So he's starting with a little D. And that is just playing that, the top two notes of an open D down on the... Second and third fret. And then sliding into a G triad. And he's playing six there, so it's the G triad. Slide into an A triad. And then you slide up to the eighth fret with your D and B string play that top E, so you're playing like a D chord. And then the second time round, he's just going from that D into the G, back up to the 8th fret, and then he goes down the scale, so he goes... So if you're playing a D major scale now, because now you're in the D root of the verse, And then we go down to the chords that would be played on the keyboard. So that would be an F with a G on the bass, but you can just play the F, sliding up to the G. And there, he's playing six again, so you can play with your pinky finger and your ring finger. So slide up from the fifth to the seventh on the the D and the B strings, and back down, and then play that third fret on the B, come down the strings, so onto the G, 4-2, and then on the D string, slide down, sorry, So after that rundown, you go back into the G, and then you go to a D triad. So the next part is on the fifth fret, doing the six again. So playing that top E, and then back into the triads on the G, and then just play a D triad to finish. So do it again solo. And then we move into the... So that part is B minor 7, C sharp minor 7, G major 7, and then C sharp 7 sharp 9. So that Hendrix chord, but you want to put your pinky on the bar in, on the B and the top E to get that top E ringing out. And then for the chorus, we'll back up at the ninth fret with the F sharp minor 7. And we're doing little triads here, so we're playing the 14th of the D string, 13th of the G string, and the 12th of the B string. So it's sort of like um, sliding down from a C sharp minor 7 to a B minor 7. 
for it. So you want to bar that ninth fret and then hammer on. And then that same chord run. And there's also a cool little lead comping bit that Hugh McCracken is playing I think, so it's... And that's just palm mute in the strings and playing the ninth fret of the D string. So 9th, 11, 9, 11 on the G string as well. you get to that middle eight section with some beautiful changes, just one of the best Steely Dan changes that, well they've got great changes in all their songs but this one I love. So you're on an E minor 7 and you go to a C minor 7 and then you bend up. So that's bending up on the top E string 8th fret and then coming back down to the 6th fret, pulling off to the 6th. It's only a little half bend you're doing. And you want to slide up using your pointer finger. So hit the 8th fret of the B, and then slide up, and then slide on the B string then. So slide in six to eight, and then going back down to the six. And then the root changes to B flat. And you're playing these triads here, so it's an F triad you're playing. So you're on the 10th fret, and you're coming 10 to eight. And then you play this chord, but you can play the chord up here, it just makes it easier to get to. So. And that little section beautiful bit of lead. So it's playing up at the 12th fret, so B string 12th, 10th on the top E, bend up that 12th fret on the top E, and then you play those 6 again, so you slide from the 10th to the 12th fret on the D and the B strings. So slide and into that top E on the 10th. Slide to the 12th, top E on the 10th. And then back down to the D. So you play the 7th fret, D and B strings. And then the outro part, you can just really comp it. So play, you've got the D major pentatonic shape here. So just palm mute and play like that sort of feel. So you're just playing double stops. And I'll just come off the D string, ninth fret to the seventh. And then just play through to the outro, and that's it. <laughs>